in this numerical example, uh, you need to uh, replace the spring in each of the two uh, cases shown by a single spring of uh, stiffness k equivalent, uh, equivalent spring stiffness, which will uh, cause each mass to vibrate uh, with its original frequency. This means that um, uh, in the first case here, uh, you have um, uh, a mass uh, attached to two springs, and the springs are uh, in parallel. And in this case, you have a mass which is attached to two springs, but here the springs are in series. We need to find out the equivalent uh, stiffness of these two springs and these two springs here. So if you consider the case uh, A, uh, so this is uh, uh, somehow uh, equivalent when you are finding the equivalent uh, uh, of two resistors uh, in, in electrical circuits. Now, in the first example here, if you consider, so you have this uh, mass and which is attached to uh, to two spring here and if you give it some some displacement in the downward direction x from its equilibrium position so then we have k1 x because two mass is uh, uh, two spring will have the same deflection here so it will become k1 x and uh, uh, k2 x so the spring stiffness of one is k1 and another one is k2 and obviously uh, x double dot is also we will take it positive in the downward direction here uh, so in the first case here uh, we know that the uh, the total force uh, will be equal to uh, the the total force is equal to f1 uh, plus f2 here so this is the uh, the total force of the uh, of the uh, of on this uh, body is equal to k1 plus k2 uh, so in this case, uh, what you can say that the, the equivalent uh, uh, system here, uh, which is the, okay, and again, uh, here we can see that, uh, we can say that the X will be equal to X1, which is equal to X2 here. So therefore, we have K1X and K2X here, because uh, uh, in this case, uh, the, the deflection is the same for both the spring here. So now uh, we know that uh, f is equal to kx. Uh, so this means that uh, uh, if we replace uh, uh, this f, which is uh, k equivalent uh, x is equal to k1x and plus k2x. And now we can see that x is uh, on both sides. So what we can say that uh, k equivalent in this case is equal to k1 plus uh, k2 here so <clears throat> when the springs are in um, in parallel as in this case here the equivalent spring is just the summation of uh, the uh, two stiffness together now when uh, springs are in parallel is in this case here and this is k1 and this is k2 here so in this case um, uh, the total deflection here so x um, uh, x is equal to x1 plus x2 the total deflection will be the deflection in spring uh, 1 and spring 2 but f1 is equal to f2 is equal to f but forces uh, in the springs will be the same uh, so in this case uh, uh, and we know that uh, uh, f is equal to kx or x is equal to f divided by k here so if we just put uh, f uh, uh, x equal to f divided by k in this equation so f divided by k equivalent is equal to f divided by x uh, x uh, x1 uh, k1 and then plus f divided by k2 so then you can uh, cancel f from both sides so 1 over k equivalent will become equal to 1 over k1 plus 1 over k2 this means that when the springs are in series the equivalent spring can be right uh, using this uh, equation here so if you want to simplify this equation so it will become equal to 1 over k equivalent so it will be k1 k2 and k2 plus k1 or k equivalent will become equal to k1 k2 divided by k1 plus k2 this is the equivalent spring for uh, this uh, uh, case here.